This is a quick introduction to XMOS voice algorithms and how they work together to isolate the voice command from the captured signal. There are four main algorithms, an acoustic echo canceller, an interference canceller, a noise suppressor, and automatic gain control. The acoustic echo canceller removes audio output streaming through the device itself, enabling reliable barge-in on a voice-enabled audio device. The following clip shows the effects of the AEC on a track playing through an audio device connected to an XVF3510 voice processor. The interference canceller and noise suppression have been turned off on the 3510 device and the gain control is set to a default value. In a TV integration, our automatic delay estimator adjusts the audio reference signal used by the AEC to support a smooth, real-time barge-in experience. The interference canceller scans the soundscape of the room and reduces the output from static audio sources, also known as point noise sources, like kitchen appliances, smart speakers and audio equipment. The following clip shows the effects of the interference canceller on a recording of a track playing on a separate audio device in the room. The AEC and noise suppression have been turned off and gain set to a default value. Noise suppression reduces other noise sources with frequency characteristics that don't change rapidly over time, or diffuse noise as it's known technically. For example, the hum from an air conditioning unit, general kitchen noise, or traffic. The following clip shows the effect of the noise suppressor on some background traffic noise. The AEC and interference canceller blocks have been turned off and gain set to a default value. The fourth block is automatic gain control. This balances the signal volume, for example making a quiet voice louder. There are two output paths. One optimizes the signal for a speech recognition service, like Amazon Alexa. The other optimizes it for comms output to support conference calling. The XVF3510 is configured for out-of-the-box use, with all signal processing blocks activated, enabling developers to test the XVF3510 performance immediately and quickly prototype their products. For developers who want to tune the algorithms, XMOS provides a command line application which can be used to control each block. You can find out more at xmos.com.